we're doing an elo hell we are doing a higher end elo hell this is a diamond five player 1991 mmr coca-cola he is going up against a bunch of high diamond and masters players so here's his current stats he's 23 and 26 seems like when he plays jungle he does pretty good he is a jungler when he plays other roles he kind of gets pooped on seems like he's picked up loki as a main character but you see anytime he gets solo it looks like coca-cola is is secondary queuing solo and not doing very well so i'll probably ask him about that but we'll see we'll see how the game goes see how he does he said he's high diamond masters it's not the craziest jump ever but we'll see if he's actually there or not team comp wise i like the loki into the freya and the raw mercury tends like a good mercury is gonna beat a loki uh, and then the Hercules picks a little out there. I don't even know Mamba still plays ADC. What is this? Are they trading? Well, I'm confused. I thought Mamba was ADCing now and Gozen was a solo later. I'm a little confused. They're not trading. Interesting. Still let's, let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Let's see if Coca-Cola's got the skills. A lot of the names should be recognized uh pretty heavily to be honest you got salon in the game gifty mamba ox goes in set poly gifty everybody's in this game their comp is a little strange not really the whole comp like Scylla's good on her is really good yorm is okay loki's okay the erlong shen is weird the red team is comp i like it all except for i'm not a huge fan of the hercules or long sword might be the new thing. I don't know. Might be the way. If he he straight went into a, a belt too, a frenzy. All right, let's focus on the low key. See what he see what he can do. He could take over this game. He's got really good potential between killing the raw and the Freya into the early mid or late game. It's gonna be how he plays around the Mercury, how he plays around the Yamojo ult, and if he gets bullied by Hercules. Isn't Herc doing well recently? I mean, he might be making a comeback. I don't know. I just don't like Hercules. I feel like Herc is pretty good early, insanely good in the mid game, and then falls off in the late game. Like, you, you know, you stun it and you just insta die in the late game. And Smite right now pretty much always goes late game if you're not playing like dog shit. Now, Erlong still doesn't have his knockout. Is it common to any degree for console players to play at this level? It's no, no, no. There's like one or two controller players. That's not even console, controller players in Grandmasters. And then I would bet like maybe 20 in Masters. You crashed? Why didn't they pause? Bro, you crashed on the pool and they don't pause? Oh, so I'm probably didn't change it to auto pause. Well, this is going to be a weird one. Mmm. And the Freya team. Oh, they invaded in that first one. So Mamba's screwed, but his team is ahead now. Good clear control from Coca-Cola. I hope the red team wakes up and pauses the game. Like if, if you have a DC like that, you gotta stop hitting shit and just pause. I mean, I was preaching for years how console was dog shit and the FPS was terrible and everyone would argue with me. No, you're wrong. No, the new consoles are getting 120 FPS. No, bro, you were getting 60 FPS, which is like slow mo. Okay, that was really risky for Coca-Cola to go for that. The juke. If he gets hit by that one, he dies. Um, this is nuts. He's very aggressive with his positioning. He also doesn't have pots ticking, so his multi pot isn't ticking. I don't know why he wasn't double potting. Now it is. No, wait. It's just bug. This is showing two multi pots on Loki, and his inventory is showing one. He's dead. Bro, he just got soloed by the Arby's and the Mercury. I don't know if he realized how much damage he was taking or if he was trying to rely too much on the Scylla to do something there, but that was weird. I don't like how he even followed the Mercury. As soon as he got poked low, they should have split mids. That means you go the opposite side from the Mercury. I'm looking at Erlang's inventory? What? No, I'm looking at Loki. I'm literally looking at Loki right now. 
So there's two multi pots and a health pot. Oh, he has it now. Okay. Maybe I did before. Oh, when I swapped to player, was it still in our lane? Is that why? No, you, those harpies will destroy you, dude. If you don't have really high, if you're not a really high clear jungler with your mid, these harpies will mess you up. Like, look at this. Look at how much damage the harpies just did to him. He heals, obviously, because of his items, but like he's getting chunked. He's getting really, really chunked. Those harpies are harpies you either fight at somebody at that pulls them or you just split like you go the opposite direction. No blue invade. Looks like Mamba's reestablished the lane, I think. Yeah, the fact that Erling died early and then he died here is bad. Good rotation from the Mercury. They are bullying that duo lane. And since they went Erlong Shen and they aren't bullying, I think they're screwed. The Erlong Shen would have been decent aggression, but I just don't think it works against that Freya Yamoja. The Freya Yamoja has really good clear, really good CC for early fights. Okay, he's maxing his one. I think that's good. He's worried about his three being interrupted. I honestly am not sold on the Loki now because the fray is huge. Uh, and he can't, he's like not gonna be able to pressure that out. He has to get active in the next two minutes. If he doesn't have a kill in the next two minutes, I think he's gonna struggle. Cause the Merc's gonna out farm him with Golden Blade. There's the ult mid. This is good. This is what he wants. This is really what he wants. He missed the overhand. Okay, he gets a kill. He didn't pop his shard though. Pop your shard, dude. You could have lived. Go to the lane. Go to the lane. All right, he's fine. I don't know why he didn't pop his shard. Yo, these shards. You should use every single time a fight starts. Not like a you continue long fight. Like the second you use an ability, a core ability, pop the shard. You can't waste it unless you're not using it or using it when you're running out of base. Like you're not gonna waste it if you're actually in a fight. Coca-Cola is Diamond 5, 1990 MMR. He said high diamond masters as his rank. So he is in a lobby of high diamond masters players. And I mean, he's one of one so far, so it's not the end of the world. I'm not sure why they went Erlong. Oh, good ward for Mamba. Yeah, the Erlong Shen pick was weird. I even said it was weird. Talked about how I, I like the team comp outside of Erlong and how I did not like, or I like the other team comp outside of the Hercules. Zuffer, Mamba hits Masters easy peasy, dude. Makes you look like a scrub. Bro, Coca-Cola, you know you can't pull over the wall like that. What is he want? Is, is he choking? Is he freaking out? Oh, they killed him. What? Oh! Well, the fact that he isn't stealth in is crazy to me. They're going to hear it now. Yeah, he's in a, he might die for this. He's going to get Herc push. Yeah, he's dead. Pop your wing shard. He's dead. He's dead all out. No shard popped or what a horn shard. Sorry, not wing shard. He's dead. Oh, they juked him. The Loki big is weird because I thought he was a Loki main and that's why he was playing it. But you can tell he's definitely not played much Loki or he'd know the stealth range for sound. He'd be using his one for movement around the map. He should have just ended onto the Mercury. In all honesty. I don't know if he saw him though. He probably didn't. Lovely the one also slows your clear down a lot. 
But it is leveling the one is really good for killing the Freya. He just split pushes late. We played him in sub league. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be looking for it. What the? Wh why is he jumping around? Oh my gosh. This might work out because the Freya went into the fight thinking Yamoja would be there. And Yamoja paused because the Mercury was looking for him. Oh, uh, he just 1v2'd him. The Freya just almost, like, literally did kill. She, won, she legit 1v2'd them. And he, oh, the Mercury walked past him. Pop your shard. Blink out. Please blink. Blink. Merc just missed everything. Oh my gosh. That's crazy to me. Blink! Bro, blink! Why now after you've almost died? Okay. Your subly games only went 90 minutes because of the slip push. <laughs> we'll see if he does it here. See if he's successful. I don't know why he was walking through their jungle jumping around. This is good XP for him, right? Okay. He should drop the blue before he does these so he can get blue cooldown. Shaman buff. He did get the kill in the Freya. And he did live. I just am mind blown that he lived with his decision making. And I'm also really mind blown that that Freya 1v2'd them and killed one of them and got the other one at 1%. What's up, Emperor? Thank you for the nine months. Stone Bar, thank you for the 31 months. Kyo, thank you for the five months. Polly, thank you for the 18 months. This is back to the Mercury. Always look the way that people can be coming. Don't turn your back to where people will come from. He doesn't steal from far enough away for to be playing Loki. It's the longer the solo kill, did he? Yeah, Erlong's 0-4. He is fried. Red team has a lot of wards up. A ton of wards up. Yeah, look at this. Damage done. Pretty low. It's early game. Oh. Oh. I don't think they want to fight this. <gasps> Oh, he, he is in trouble. Bro, he hasn't moved. Good rotation from, from the Yorm. But Loki getting caught like that was so bad. Walking in a straight line against the Mercury is alarming. What's up, Amaldre? Thank you for the 13 months. Did I butcher your name? I feel like I see that every time. Was our lane with double Loki's damage? Yeah, but also quadruple Loki's deaths. High damage stops carrying a lot of its weight when you die a lot to do the damage. Yeah, someone's like, I'm top damage, but they have like 12 deaths and everyone else has like three to four. Yeah, no, that ain't. That ain't it. This is high diamond masters, Evo. At this rate, let me see. Hold on. What's Mercury at? Level 11? Yeah, Merc's kind of hitting a power spike right now, though. But if they keep it up like this, they'll hit late game. And if you said he's a split pushing player, then we're going to see it. We're definitely see it. You do another one? Yeah. I don't know what MMR we're going to do yet. I haven't decided. I tried to do Elo Hell for four other players, and none of them were here. Even though sign up said started like 30 minutes for him. This is just a single elo hell. Uh, people said they really liked the double elo hells, but they also said they missed the regular ones. And I, you know, I can understand that. So we're going to do a little bit of the regular ones. We'll mix some stuff in. I have a new series I'm going to start where I want to coach a player who plays regularly at very low MMR. Um, and plays when I stream and coach him like every night or every other night or something. He's caught again. He's so screwed. And this is awkward because he's not even autoing the Yamoja. Like this Loki should at very least be auto. Oh, they get a free kill. Huge play from Stallone. That was not Coca-Cola right there. He just helped 
in the smallest way possible. He should have been hitting the Yamoja and then going on the Mercury after Salon popped him. I don't know why he wasn't. Gifty needs to get out. Good Yamoja, maybe? No. Wait, no, he didn't. Oh! Lottie Lock? Is Coca Cola on a controller? Because he, he misses his three so much. And I don't know how you miss the three. Nice blink out. Almost got caught. It scared me. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, he's in trouble now. Wait, her mama doesn't see him. Norm's here. Good cut back. Good positioning. He's not on controller. That's crazy. He's missed his three. Not like the whole three, but parts of his three like four times. Jones Hydra serrated. All right. Normal build. Oh, you right now sucks. Server gears are lagging right now. People are skipping. My server did that one time in our last game and then it went away. No way he's playing controller, bro. But how do you miss your three when you're not on, like, on mouse and key? Nice, he kills. Body block three. Oh, he got walked into the one. He got played. Coca-Cola got played. All right, so Coca-Cola fucked up really bad there. When he went on the Mercury, he opened in front of the Mercury. If you're playing a squishy character, you do not open or blink in front of them because they're instantly going to be hitting you with autos and abilities. You, they need to be, you know, you want to have that first auto advantage where they have to turn around or whatever on you. He opened really poorly there and then just got played on his chase. Played like a fiddle, dude. Just might have aim acceleration not built in. If you have a controller, you can use aim assist, but it's trash. You do not want to have it on. If you're on a controller and you have aim assist on right now, turn it off. He didn't swap to blue. Shaman buff. He kept purple. Right? Or am I trolling? That was on purple, right? I don't know. What the hell? Oh, it is on blue. I'm trolling. Never mind. Thank God. I was like, no way. Oh, good damage for Salone. He doesn't follow up. He doesn't even. He gets a free kill here. He, he can't get a kill. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's been over swinging the whole game, but doing that with your three is just unreal. He's still in this game. He's thir level 13. He should be stealthing around looking for an opening. I hate that he's this far back. Like Ra's dead, so this is a good fight. Use your two, secure the kill. Why did you not just use your two to secure the kill? Ult of Mercury, you know he has no actives. The tower's not on you. Disengage, disengage, disengage. Ra's gonna be here, disengage. Still hasn't used his shard yet. There he goes, never mind, he used that fight. Oh, he's dead. Oh, wait. Wait, that was a really good jukes actually. Oh, he's dead. Ah, he got blinked on my raw too. He played that fight poorly. For thinking your master's level, you, he should have two the Herc. It would have killed him because the Herc had one health, but he waited, he blinked, he three, and he missed, and then the Herc healed. And he should have altered the Mercury earlier in that fight. Especially after he got Herc push, he should have just instantly altered Merc. Oh, he's got pet now. He's got beads as well. Is spectator that bugged? Wait. Oh, it was showing he had wing shard during that fight, right? What the fuck? This has to be spec bug. Has to be. Yamoja is so deep. Good wall. 
I don't mind this targeting, actually. He needed ult right away. He shouldn't have held his all here. Good kill. Why did Gozen... Oh, Gozen have his ult either. All right, I'll take it. This is a bad time to ult. Oh, big peel from Mamba. That double push was huge. Oh, baby. I think he's good. Merc already ulted. Nice. That raw had a crazy good ult there off of Mamba's double push. It wasn't even comboed off the push. It was just on the people that he pushed. Your friends list on smite is bugged? In what way? Lucky double push fluke? Damn. Give my Mamba no credit, huh? What are levels? He's the same level as Merc. It's crazy to me. And this is really frustrating. Because in reality, I, we're not watching the Merc play. We're not watching everyone else play. But this Loki has messed up more than he's done right. And he's the same level XP, everything with the other jungler. Where... Other well, jungler might be farming poorly or something, but he's five and two. He's been in every fight. What's he damaged? Well, you like the Mercury's doing more. That's just crazy. I mean, if they're the same level. Nuts. Oh yeah, you can't accept some friend requests. I thought you figured out it was from console or something. I thought you said that it was because your friend was on console. The, the Loki's goal this game has to be to shut down this Freya in the late game fights. But if Yamoja's sitting there, he'll never 1v1 him. He'll never kill him. He needs to use his 2 to harass more. He doesn't spam his 2. His 2 should be out all the time on these guys. Granted, he doesn't have any of the procs yet. Uh, okay. Weird opening. Still is not oh wait yeah this is awkward oh what what it's a bad fight he's dead look he's definitely dead oh the shell the ult misses the jukes they don't see it hey the raw died this fray is probably gonna live Merc split pushing. The Merc's gonna be big off of this. He's, he should be at least. He gets enough XP. This is awkward. They're so deep. Freya dead. Okay. As he uses all offensively since the first he added up. Uh, Yeah, he's used it like two, two or three times offensively. His fights are just real awkward. What's crazy to me is he's maneuvering around in the fights in stealth or you know not even in stealth and it's working when it shouldn't be, but it's working. And then he's still managing to have really bad fights. He just needs to two more for sure to create like the chaos there with that and just play, play a little more patient and reserved. He could kill somebody right here though. Like his two's up. And he's twoing on his targets for AA cancels. Oh my gosh, good kills. This is big. One, two, nice. He gets killer. Live, buddy. That was good. That was the best overall fight we've seen from Coca Cola this whole game. He tried to one her. You mean the Freya? Yeah, the problem wasn't that he tried to one her. The problem was that he had been spotted. So the Freya knew where he was and he still tried to run straight at her and open in front of her. This should be a blinking gauge. He should be stealthing. I'm looking for a blinking gauge. I don't know why he's not. Okay, this is good for him. Bad for his team because they're dead, but he kills this guy. 
This ult's up. Oh, ult! Ult! Why are you holding your ult, bro? This is actually pissing me off. All he has to do is install, and he doesn't take any damage, and they kill the Freya for free. Then they go to gold that much faster. He's not backstabbing this. Oh, wait, is he? Oh, he was backstabbing. Yeah, gold. How much to be the guy I coach? <laughs> Auction it off, dude. What up, Double J? I lost two eyes? Yeah, dude. No, no, no. I've been telling my stream, like, that I never had glasses. I don't know what they were talking about. I think there was some, like, Snapchat, a Snapchat AI filter going on or something, maybe? They had some bug? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, on top went from having a really cool name. To having a really uncool name. <laughs> the build, it's just a normal build. Hold on, I'll show you after this fight. I like this positioning. I like it a lot. That's a really good play backing off. Nice use of his abilities. He gets a kill. I, that was even a good piece. Good disengage. These last two fight, like this fight and that other mid fight were great. Uh, yes, beautiful. I was worried he was going to free ult over the wall instead of blinking. Coca-Cola's early game is trash. His mid game is bad. And so far his late game is good. They're ending? Oh my gosh. We have a 24 minute game. I'm surprised they ended that fast. There's still three towers up. How the hell did they kill the Titan that fast? He had 17 KP at 18 or whatever. Yeah, I mean, like I said, his early and mid were bad. Being a part of kills is irrelevant. Um, honestly... He wasn't inting, so that was good. But his early game decision making was really, really bad. His mid game was bad. It wasn't really bad. It was bad. Then his late game was great. Stallone, Stallone put in some work. Go, go, I don't know. Late, late game was fine. Go, go, can you join Discord? Uh, the early lane was getting worked. I don't know how the hell he got back in the game. I have no idea. He was 0 4 0, just getting worked. And then all of a sudden, they started winning fights. I legitimately think they got back in the game because Stallone had some crazy plays around the beacon. All right, Coca-Cola. Yes. You suck. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, we gotta we gotta we gotta understand a little bit here. This the early game. Yes. What the fuck was going on with some of your targeting and like the way you were you were you know like stealthing when they could hear you? What was up with that? I tried to. I guess like stealthing. There's no real way you can get around them hearing you. So you're like stealth really far out. You can, yeah. If you max range your stealth, like timing wise, to so where you stealth and then rate right when you get on them is when it's ending. You they won't hear it. That's what I mean. It's it, you know I don't know how much Loki you played. Like if you're Loki manning, but you should work on that a little bit because there's a couple times where you just you were way too close when you stealth. They would hear you coming. Um. A big thing you messed up on. Your mid game was really questionable. And I think it was extra bad because a bunch of the times you would open on people, you opened in their face. So they were looking at you when you came out of stealth. If you don't do that, you gain an auto or two or an ability on somebody. Like you gain that timing advantage on whoever you open on. So like you had a kind of like a 1v1 on Mercury, but then the Emoja showed up at the mid camps and then you died when you were chasing him. He won behind him and killed you. If you hadn't opened in his face, you would have killed him way faster. And you never would have died. So yeah. that's something to 100% work on. You did it on Freya too. You were fighting at their back camps. And you had like gone in on them and then re-stealth and then gone on them again and then re-stealth. And when you re-stealth the last time, someone hit you. So they saw you were there, not didn't know exactly where you were. So he just started autoing in front of him. And because you tried to open in his face, you ate an auto to the face and died. 
So I'd really make it a habit. You don't have to be behind them, but at least be beside them. Don't be right in front of them, especially against ADCs or any auto attack gods, because they're going to basically react in the same speed you do. Like you're going to do your kit, but they're going to auto you instantly. And if they have crit, you're screwed. Um, I'm trying to think of other stuff. You should spam your two more when you're running around fights, like when you're not engaging, like while you're just kind of looking and positioning, spam your two more. It's chaos it's map control like in that area like fight control positioning wise people do not want to stand in it and it's it just creates a lot of extra there for no reason like you're not doing anything special you're just pressing two so definitely use that more especially when you get heart seeker or crusher whatever you build when those get online spam them uh or spam it oh the last other thing i want to talk about your early game the thing that made it so damn bad uh mid camps they will fuck you up they will fuck like they will fuck you up until you're you're got items or you're ahead like level 12 is when they stop fucking you up so unless you're gonna kill somebody at mid camps split them like go to the opposite mid camps from them every time it's just not worth it you're just wasting time because that's what those camps fuck you up <laughs> and those mid camps are kind of valuable like that will you lose those mids or you don't get xp from all of them you quickly fall behind off of neutral farm which you don't which you don't want uh you got any questions no all right. Well, you did pretty good. Your end game, your last two fights were good. Like they were, the last last fight was perfect. The fight before that was really good. So I don't know if you're more comfortable in the late game fights or if it's just how it played out, but it was significant difference between watching you run around in the early mid game fights versus those last two fights. Uh, so I, I just watch it back. You can hear what I what I'm talking about because you definitely did some some shit where I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? Uh, but it, it's like it's like the kind of shit you could fix easy. Like you'll watch me, you'll hear me say it, and you'll be like, okay, I'm never doing that again. Like it's something really basic. So GG's, good job. I'd say you definitely could play in these games. You looked a little uncomfortable sometimes, and then really comfortable others. So I'd say you could definitely play like get up to masters pretty easily. Thank you. Yes, sir. GG's, brother.